Hey everyone, it's Pete from Abstract Ocean. Um, today we are going to install a USB data module. Um, one of these. Looks like that. In the box you get the module itself. You get a um, trim removal tool. I'll show you that in a second. And then there's a little um, Torx wrench as well. Okay, so why do you need one of these? Let's move this off to the side. So in here, let's just remove a couple of things. Get that out of the way. This is our USB hub. So we're using this, obviously. Then this exposes the two USB-C ports that are buried down here um, to the top surface. We have a few different options. This is one of them. There's another one that's permanently exposed. Um, but the problem is on most 2022 and onward Model Y and Model 3 builds, Tesla has removed the data capability from these ports. So if you want to use it for um, your dash cam, game pads, that sort of thing, um, you can't. So what our little module does, um, it restores the USB-C, oh sorry, yeah, the USB-C data connectivity to these ports. So I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. It's pretty much plug and play. Let's get this out of the way. So hopefully on the other camera, you can see there's two little notches down here and that's what's going to pull this trim panel out um, and then obviously the USB-C ports are there. So let me go ahead and do that. This can take a lot of leverage or a lot of force um, and this little trim tool kind of cuts into your fingers a little bit so if you find you're not able to get enough um, purchase on it then just wrap a cloth or something around the handle and, and give it a pull but um, you'll see as I do this I'm going to kind of Ooh. It's going to take a couple of attempts. That's virtually off, so I'm going to just get one more time. Just kind of jimmy it away now. There we go. All right. Okay. So there's a couple of plugs, and just like every um, every plug in a Tesla, they're always a little bit different. So if I can just kind of maneuver this around just a little bit to hopefully get it on one of the cameras. So for this top plug, which is um, supplying power, we're just going to pull this away and then jimmy that out like so. And then for this bottom one, so this is the one that's providing data. So obviously this is a 21 uh, model year build model 3 so we already have data in here this is the tesla part um, so you'll find this this plug um, taped up underneath here somewhere hopefully you can see on this other camera but somewhere down here um, maybe taped to this you'll find that so that's what you need to plug in so i'm going to remove that can't remember what the trick is on that i think oh yeah just gotta so on this one just gotta push down there of course you won't have that problem because you wouldn't be buying this if you had this plug already connected so so look for this cold up down here somewhere that's the one that supplies the usb and you can see the usb port there okay let me just close this up real quick while we remove this so we're going to grab our little um torx wrench undo these just three bolts really easy i should say that um our replacement module is compatible with both the AMD Ryzen and Intel Atom builds. So um, I forget exactly when Tesla switched it out, but somewhere towards the end of 21, um, Tesla traded their chipset from Intel to AMD, um, which may have coincided when they stopped installing data for this. But either way, um, our module is compatible with both. You can tell I'm pretty good at multitasking. I can't even undo a screw without going slow okay so that's the Tesla module off let's get grab ours so you'll see um, you know obviously shape wise identical in every respect um, again the the one you're removing since you're adding our um, part for data will have this bit blanked off but that's really the only, only difference but other than that you can see they're basically the same shape so with that in mind, we're going to install this. Obviously the USB-C ports line up with the holes in the trim, like so. We're going to get our screws again. Put these 
back in. You obviously don't need to over tighten these but make sure they're they're fairly tight since you're going to be plugging in USB devices on the on the flip side. All right turn it over USB-C ports there so we're going to open this back up we're going to plug in the two connectors so um, we'll start it's all a bit awkward down here, but we'll do the USB-C one first. Let's get this part in there. Plug that in. Okay, and then this one. This one's a bit more straightforward. All right, so hopefully you can see they're both plugged in. Just going to pivot this around. This just snaps back into place, like so. Um, then I guess we can plug our hub back in if we want to. There we go. All right, so as you can see, we're obviously passing power because we've got the light on there. Um, I guess we can real quickly check with our dash cam reader. So, see the dash cam there. Gonna pull that out, get the red X. We're gonna put that back in. Give it a second to initialize. And there we go, dash cam's lit back up again. So, um, full data capability here. Again, this is compatible with Ryzen and uh, Adam processors, so no issues there. That is about it. Thank you for watching.